Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Today I've got another wax haul. I've got a massive customs order from K's and then some fantasy wax and Empire Alchemy as well. So I hope you're enjoying the wax content because God knows there's a lot more where this is coming from. But I'm gonna hop in with K's first. These are all of the freebies that she very generously included. So this first one is Boom Boom or Bum Bum. I don't know how to say that, but it smells exactly like the cream. It's really, really nice. And then we've got Key Lime Pie, which is a cute little bunt. And I didn't know I needed a Key Lime wax until I got this sample, but this is absolutely delightful. And then bubblegum, which is another cute little bunt, and it's a very classic bubblegum scent. And then I got another buttermints sample, which I'm here for. I love the scent of buttermints. And then blueberry cobbler. And blueberry is one of my favorite scents, and this is incredible. So I'm going to hop in with the customs. There are a lot. <laughs> this first one is not my creation. This was created by uh, Plan A Hannah's fiance. So it's almond, espresso, and peppermint stick. And whenever she hauled this, I was like, fuck, I need that. <laughs> and it is incredible. It tastes, not taste, I have not tasted it. I would just like to disclaim that. <laughs> it smells <laughs> exactly like a peppermint mocha. And then there's a little bit of nuttiness from the almond in there. But that is an incredible scent. So Chris, good job on that one. And then this next one sounds questionable, but it's Garden Mint, Cucumber, Melon, and Iced Tea. And it's like the prettiest green color too, but I really wanted something that was light and refreshing and summery without being citrusy. So I thought that this would be a good combo for that and it's everything that I wanted it to be. I really, really like that. Now I do really love citrus, so I did want to get a citrus option as like a refreshing summery scent. So I came up with blueberry thyme, vanilla milk, and Meyer lemon. And I really like this one as well. Okay, well just disclaimer, I like all of the customs that I came up with. I think I kind of killed it, but this one is really nice. I didn't want it to be like a full citrus, so I added the vanilla milk just to kind of tone it down and bring a little creaminess to the mixture. Next one is vanilla milk, Bartlett pear, and peach nectar. And I really wanted a nice like peaches and cream scent. And I thought that the pear would be a nice compliment because I've been really into pear scents lately. And again, this one is really nice. This next one is Funnel Cake Pearberry and Marshmallow Fluff. And again, this is everything that I hoped it would be. I absolutely love this one. I really like the funnel cake and marshmallow fluff and I like the idea of it paired with a fruit. So I kind of wanna try it with blueberry and maybe strawberry as well. One is almond, pearberry, and vanilla cake pops. And it's a very like nutty cakey scent and then the pearberry just adds the perfect amount of fruity scent in the background. This is another one that I would like to try with blueberry as well. Next one is Almond Sugar Waffle Cone and Rustic Lodge. I don't remember what Rustic Lodge is exactly, but I know that it's like a very classic fall scent. And this is my ideal fall scent. It's kind of apple-y, but it's kind of warm with the sugar waffle cone. There's a bit of nuttiness to it. It's just the perfect fall scent for me personally. So I already know that I'm going to be melting the shit out of that in the fall. This next one here 
is French bread, American cream, and a snickerdoodle. I'm half French, so obviously French bread is one of my favorites, hence this combo is just a chef's kiss. The French bread is for sure the most dominant scent, but then there's a bit of creaminess and then a little bit of sugar in the background from the snickerdoodle. It's just really, really nice. I think that this one would also be a really nice mixer with any other kind of bakery or fruit scent. Next one is Morning Beignet, French Bread and Sweet on Paris. This one is one of my absolute favorites. The Morning Beignet is just a really nice, doughy, donutty scent. The French Bread is obviously incredible. I absolutely love Kay's French Bread scent. And then the Sweet on Paris, I'm pretty sure is a blackberry lemon combo and that just adds the slightest bit of sweetness and tartness to the combo and it's delightful. Next one is Tres Leches. Please nobody come for me for my Spanish pronunciations. I only took French <laughs> in school so I've never learned Spanish so just um, ignore me. But it's that and then banana flambe and cherry almond. And I love banana scents, whether it's like actual banana or that super artificial like banana runts. I just love it all. So I needed some banana scents in my collection and this one does not disappoint. The banana flambe is definitely the star of the show. I mean, I get all three, of course, but the banana flambe is the most prominent. This next one is regular coffee, pistachio macaroon, and vanilla milk. And this smells heavenly. It smells exactly like a cafe, which is exactly what I wanted. The coffee is for sure the most prominent scent, and then the macaroon and then the vanilla milk in the background but if you want a very classic cafe coffee shop scent definitely try this this next one is morning beignet blackberry and blueberry sugar and this one is really nice as well i love blackberry i love blueberry and then the morning beignet just adds the best bakery scent to anything that it's with so love that one and then the last one is zucchini bread monkey bread and cherry almond and this one is absolutely incredible as well we've got the strong bakery with the monkey bread and zucchini bread and then the cherry almond just adds the slightest bit of tartness and nuttiness in the background. This is one I wanna try with pistachio macaroon and then also with maybe blueberry or blackberry. So that was all of my K's customs. Thank you for coming on that journey <laughs> with me. Um, but yeah, K's is awesome for customs. They have like every single scent that you could possibly think of. Ew, ignore my iPhone 7 Plus. <laughs> I have not upgraded yet because I spend all of my money on um, other stuff, clearly. <laughs> but um, K's is amazing for customs because they're super affordable for the amount that you get. And they just have truly every scent that you can think of. So you can really concoct whatever scent you want. So definitely check them out. All right, so let's hop into some Empire Alchemy. This first one is Raspberry Italian Soda and it's raspberries and lemon bubbly vanilla ice cream. And this one I like. It's very tart with the raspberries and lemon and then a creaminess from the ice cream, but I don't know. There's like a very strong alcohol scent to me, which is not 
my favorite type of scent, but I do like this one. This next one is banana milk. It's creamy banana and vanilla milk, kiwi and marzipan. And again, I love a good banana scent. And this is kind of like a banana milkshake, but doughy. And I don't know what's creating the doughy scent. It's a little weird, but I do like it. I think that's going to be a fun one to melt. This next one is coconut cream latte. It's creme brulee, coconut milk, cafe latte, sugar cookies, and whipped cream. And this one, I get all of the creme brulee and cafe latte, and then a bit of the sugar cookie, but I don't really get the whipped cream or the coconut milk. There's almost a bit of a chocolatey note to this. I'm not really sure what that's from, but I really, really do like that one. This next one I'm hyped for. So it's Boys of Summer. It's cool, clear water cologne, icy peppermint, and laundry mat. And it smells like icy hot and laundry. <laughs> I love this so much. I'm a weirdo. I love icy hot. I love the smell of it. And I'm stoked to melt that one. This next one is Friday Milk Tea. It is lavender, peppermint, marshmallow, and green milk tea. This one is probably my least favorite of the bunch. I do still like it, just not nearly as much as the others. This will probably be a bathroom scent for me because it is a very relaxing scent with the lavender. And the peppermint is definitely strong, but it's not overpowering. So yeah, this might be a nice melt for the bathroom. Last one is called Almond Milk Tea and it's Amaretto and steeped black tea, cream, and sugar. And this one I get like straight amaretto and cream and sugar. I don't really get a lot of the black tea. I kind of get it in the background, but it's mostly the amaretto and cream and sugar for me. But I do really like that. There's almost kind of a bready scent with this one too. And then last up, we've got some Fantasy Wax. This is their 90s Babe collection, and I'm a 90s kid through and through, so I was super stoked for this collection. This first one is Boy Band. Um, let me know if you're NSYNC or Backstreet Boys in the comments. There is one correct answer, and it is NSYNC. Although with TikTok, NSYNC and Backstreet Boys have been like linking up lately, and that's just too much for my mind to process like what in the Y2K is happening. I don't know, but I'm kind of here for it. I don't know if the rivalry is still a thing now that they're like besties, but let me know. Let me know in Sink or Backstreet Boys in the comments. So this is a boy band. It is Blue Raspberry Slushy. And I love slushies. I'm like five, so I get a slushy every time I go to the movies and I can't wait <laughs> to go to the movies again to get one, but this smells spot on to a raspberry slushy. This next one is Saturday Morning Cartoons. It's rich maple syrup and warm vanilla. And yeah, that smells spot on. That's really, really nice. And we've got Blockbuster R.I.P. <laughs> Moment of Silence. And this is Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, and again, that smells pretty spot on. But the star of the show is none other than Game Boy, which is Cucumber Melon. I was always a Cucumber Melon girl, so I was stoked that they had Cucumber Melon in the set. Let me know what your Bath and Body Works signature scent was. But yeah, this smells spot on. Ugh, I love this. This just takes me back all the way to the 90s. I love that so much. So next 
I've got the Little Mermaid collection. So this was their, God, what am I doing? <laughs> this was their first clamshell. It is Ursula and it is Blackberry Lemonade. And um, RIP <laughs> this wax. It is um, not the cutest right now. <laughs> I'm sure it was very cute at one point in time. It's been so hot lately that this poor little melt just got absolutely obliterated in transit, so RIP, but <laughs> it's still cute, and it smells so nice. I love blackberry scents, and the blackberry lemonade is such a nice combo. Okay, so this is the bundle. It's very like aquatic, very beachy. This first one is Sebastian, and it is frozen margaritas and you know not the biggest fan of alcohol scents but this one is not bad for being an alcohol scent and then we have flounder which is ocean sea spray driftwood and oak moss smells like you're just right on the beach oh it's so nice next we have eric which is sea salt, lemon flower, and almond milk. I love a good sea salt scent. This is so aquatic and light and airy and relaxing. I really like that one. And then we have Ariel, which is coconut water, sea lily, and lemon zest. I really like this one too. I think that the lemon zest is such a good addition to this because it's really nice and light and aquatic, but then the lemon just adds a bit of tartness and freshness to it. So really like that. Next we have the Jaws collection, which I accidentally ordered two of because I forgot that I ordered it already. So oops, but it's fine. I really like all of the scents in this bundle, so I'm not even mad about it. Okay, so this first one is Close the Beach. It's creamy cocoa butter and tropical fruits. I love the creaminess of this. I love cocoa butter and the tropical fruit just works so well with this. It almost smells like hair care or like a tropical sunscreen or something. I don't know, I really like that though. And then we have Bigger Boat, which is sweet pineapple and coconut. And it's a very light and airy pina colada scent. I think that sometimes with um, pineapple and coconut, one or the other is overbearing. But with this one, it's like the perfect combo of both. Whoops, all of the little fish just fell out. BRB, let me scoop those back in. Okay, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Next we have Shark, which is Salty Sea Spray, Crisp Ozone, and Water Lily. And it's got like the cute little shark with the blood in the water that is so freaking cute. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, it just smells like a nice salty beach. Oh, incredible. And then we have Amity Island, which is caramel popcorn, warm apples, and creamy taffy. And it's got the cute little beach balls. Yeah, this is a 10 out of 10 scent. Gosh, what is my issue? <laughs> okay, let's put those back in there. Oh, this is incredible. You guys know that like fair food is uh, one of my favorite food groups because I'm from the Midwest and that just makes me want to go to a fair. And then I stocked back up on some stuff. So I've got cereal and milk, which is lemon, lime, grapefruit, and sugar. It's like a very Fruit Loop, fruity pebble scent. Oh, it's so nice. And then I've got sweet almond, which is almond, cherries, and apples which is one of my all-time favorite scents from them. Then I got Piglet, which is pistachio, amaretto, cream, and vanilla ganache. And if you watched my last haul, you know that I am 10 out of 10 obsessed with this one. And again, 
one I'll continue repurchasing as long as I have it. And same with Pooh Bear, which is honey buttered rolls. Oh, incredible. 10 out of 10. I would buy a loaf of that if they sold loaves. <laughs> and then a sticky bun, which is cinnamon sugar and buttery icing. So it's just a very nice, classic cinnamon roll scent. Then finally, I got two of their 4th of July bundles because they're little guys and I knew that all three scents were going to be ones that I am very, very into. So this first one is white and it is summer scoop scented and oh, it's so nice. It just smells like a big old bowl of vanilla ice cream. And then we have red, which is hot apple pie. And oh, this is amazing. It's already one of my favorite scents that they have ever done. I really hope that they bring that back for the fall. And then finally we have blue, which is zucchini bread and sugar cookie royale. I got this as a sample with an order and I was so hoping that they would bring it to the shop and I'm so stoked that they did. I can't even begin to tell you how good this is. They really, really outdid themselves with this one. But yeah, that's everything for the haul. I'm on a wax no spend now until I get everything hauled and organized. Same with stickers because I've just been getting wild. But let me know if you're enjoying the wax content. I've got several more hauls coming, but if you want to see empties videos, that's something that I can also do. I'm undecided on melting basket videos because I'm too impulsive to pick out a whole week of melts ahead of time, but I might do the August challenge and see how that goes. But yeah, thanks for hanging out today and I hope I see you in the next one. Later days.